What's up YouTube, Brian here, back again with another video. Today, we're gonna be looking at the latest, greatest uh, hookup tackle, JDM Bento Box. This is the, the one they just sent me. And I have to say, it's probably gonna be the last one that I purchased. And there's a reason for that, and I'm gonna tell you guys why in a minute. But first, I wanna talk about iCast because there's a lot of things going on right now in the fishing tackle world. Uh, as you guys know, iCast comes mid, middle July. And right now, you've noticed a lot of things going on sale if you pay attention to like shops and stores and sales and these kinds of things. And I specifically want to talk about Shimano because I've heard people have told me uh, who have seen things from you know dealers and whatnot. I'm not under any NDA, so I can say whatever I want uh, on my channel. Uh, Shimano can't do anything to me. I don't work in the fishing industry. I'm not under any paperwork. But people have told me things. And um, from what I know is that the Shimano is going to be rebooting a whole bunch of stuff. And some of this is probably going to be debuting at ICAST. So the first thing I heard about is the new Corrado. So the Corrado K is going to be discontinued and retired. And there's going to be a Corrado L coming out. So it's going to be the Corrado L. Usually Shimano's um, naming conventions just go in alphabetical order. So the Shimano L is coming out, which means there's also going to be a new DC. So Shimano L DC, so new DCs. Also, I heard the new Aldebaran, I think it was already teased in Japan last year, is going to be coming to the U.S. market. So the updated Aldebaran, with the, I think it had the dial on the side. So I think we've already seen that. So I don't think that's new, but it's going to be the U.S. market's going to get it. So Corrado's, Aldebaran's, the new Stratic. So if you haven't noticed, a lot of Stratic FLs are now on sale. So the new Stratic is coming out, which maybe it's going to be called the Stratic FM. I don't know. I haven't heard anything on what it's going to be called. But there's a new Stratic, like the $200 Stratic is, is coming out. Then Rods. So apparently the Zodius line is getting a refresh. So there's going to be new Zodiuses coming out. And then the big one is the Conquest. So the Shimano um, G Loomis Team Up Rod, the Conquest, has not been touched since it came out. It's been the same. They haven't done anything with it. Apparently, all the conquests are going to be rebooted. There's a new conquest coming out. If you've noticed on Tackle Warehouse, they are not taking back orders of any conquests that, uh, on their site right now. So a bunch of conquests are just out of stock and are not reordering, which is always a sign that there's something coming. So Shimano's got a ton of stuff coming out, apparently. Uh, so the Corrado's DCs. I have not heard if there's a new Metanium DC because I know the Metanium DC is still on like two Metaniums ago. Uh, and everyone's been excited that maybe there's going to be a new DC Metanium based on the current Metanium platform. Not heard a thing about that. So I don't think that's coming. It could. They might surprise people. But from all the people who I know have talked to Shimano dealers and everything, um, no, it's just Corrado, Stratix, Zodius, Aldebaran, and Conquest. Hopefully there's some other surprises. Who knows? But Shimano's got a ton of stuff coming out. So if you're looking in the market to buy any of that equipment right now, wait. Because... All the new stuff is going to be coming out. I don't know timelines on any of this. They're probably just going to show a lot of this stuff off at ICAST, win some awards, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, be, stay tuned for new Shimano stuff um, coming out. Let's dive into the bento box. So I am probably going to end my subscription to the Hookup Tackle bento box. And it is simply because I have way, way, way too many Vision 110s and Pop Maxes. If I keep getting these every month, I, I, I went downstairs in my archive and I counted. I think I have about... 45 to 53 uh, 110s still in the box. And I have well over 20 Pop Maxes sitting in the box. And it's just like, I gotta stop buying these. I just have so many. I don't throw 110s all the time. And when I do throw them, I rarely lose them. So I have a bunch in my boat that I've been using for the last two years. And I haven't really lost any of them or replaced them or changed too many of them out. So it's like, I gotta stop the madness. And also we are buying a, we're upgrading our camper out in Wisconsin. And I'm like, do I really need to be dropping 100 bucks every month on this when, you know, we could roll this, I could roll this money into the camper and do other things. So I think this is going to be the swan song for the JDM Bento box. I've loved it. Ben does a great job with these things. If you're in the subscription, you know, I have literally nothing bad to say about the subscription. It's been super fun. It's been, I've been into it for well over a year and I have nothing but positive things to say about it. This is Ben's passion project at Hookup Tackle. I fully support him. I hope people jump into this thing and keep it going. I know he expanded it from 200 people to 400 people in the bento box, so it must be doing great. So uh, I hope everyone out there enjoys it. I just, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pull the plug to be responsible with how much 
tackle I'm hoarding, and then also cost. So it's nothing to do with my enjoyment of the box. I love getting these boxes every month. It's been super fun. I stopped making videos because Ben started making videos on his channel, and he's way better at talking about the baits than I am. He actually knows what he's talking about. He knows what's in it. It's way cooler to hear him talk about it than me. So that's kind of why I stopped making the JDM Bento boxes. I figured no one's going to watch my videos if you can watch his, and he does a way better job anyway. So I'm not going to I'll just let him do his thing. He's great at it. So shout out to Ben. Thank you for entertaining me for all these, for well over a year in these bento boxes. It's been super awesome. I think it's a great idea. I hope it keeps going. Maybe I'll jump back into it someday. Who knows? So let's dive into this one as the swan song. I already watched Ben's video, so I know there's some cool stuff in here. And I already see a bait on the very top of it that I'm kind of excited for. I haven't bought this one yet because um, the new Raid, Raid, well not new, it's probably been around a while, but the Raid Head Swimmer. So this is in the 14 gram. And I got a really good color. I love this color. This is the four and five inch. So they come in two different sizes. Um, so essentially this is a this is a system from Raid. It comes with the swim baits, it comes with the head, but you can change out the swim baits to put whatever you want. You can put a spark chat on these things, whatever the heck you, you a kind tech, whatever you want on these. But these things apparently sell really well. And in walleye and smallmouth country, these baits look perfect. So it's got a little underspin on the bottom. Uh, let me try and take one out here. Oh, there's staples. I hate staples on packaging. Because when you pop them off, they just poke your fingers. Okay. So this is the Raid uh, the Raid Head Swimmer. So, you know, it's kind of got a head that's very reminiscent to the, the depths. I'm sorry, the Mega Bass body balance. Also, it's a very Mega Bassy looking kind of head, but it's pretty sweet. And then, you know, the, the plastic is obviously perfectly fitted to this thing. Uh, it's weighted in the middle. You got a little, ooh, this brush guard is stiff. Ooh, that's a stiff brush guard. I'm kind of like not really into that. I would probably cut that, to be honest, because we don't really fish around much wood or brush up in these parts. But anyway, so this is the Raid Swimmer. It comes in the two sizes, uh, five and four inch. Pretty cool. I've, I've not bought one of these yet, and I'm kind of stoked that they came in the bento box. Now I have an excuse to give it a whirl. Um... All right, we're off to a good start. This is cool. Definitely applicable to our waters up here. All right, the next thing is a dual realis plastic. So um, dual realis apparently is a really big plastic pourer and they make plastics for all sorts of other companies. Uh, this is their house brand, so this is the stuff they do. And this is called the T-Hog. This is supposedly a really good back, back gliding bait. So if you fish a lot of docks and you're not running back gliding baits. Um, I've done it, it's really awesome. I've used the um, OSP fat sticks and I've back glided them they, and they definitely work. So basically, I'm not gonna take this out of the box, but it's basically a kind of a bluegill profile-ish with two flappy appendages and you rig these backwards on an EWG hook um, with no weight and you fire it at a dock and when it hits the water, it just swims away. So if you're not good at dock skipping and you're worried about getting baits deep into docks, Rig it backwards and use a back glider and then you don't have to, you just got to pitch it to the edge of the dock and just let the bait do its thing, which is kind of cool. So it's definitely great for like maybe more novice fishermen or people who want to work docks a little more effectively, but aren't super good at like skipping Senkos or jigs. Um, this is definitely a good, cool alternative. So T-Hog, awesome. I'm going to try this out. Um, I have other back gliding baits that I like. Um, this is another bait that I was kind of stoked on because this one is definitely in my wheelhouse for free rigging. So this is the Raid. E G U chunk. So this is a big old, um, oh man, these things are slimy. It's like oozing out of the package. So I got myself a, this is a, looks like a June bug color. Definitely a June bug. Yep. June bug on the package. So this is a four inch, big old chunk bait, big old flappy. So this doesn't have flanges like a rage bait. Um, but anyway, this is definitely going to be something I'm going to free rig on the Windbuster. Uh, 100% think I'm going to be able to catch some smallies on this thing, even large mouth. So anyway, cool free rig bait. Definitely could maybe flip it um, or make it as a jig trailer for like a bigger jig, like a three quarter ounce jig. Anyway, we got more cray baits, crayfish baits. I got so many of these. Woo, that's slimy. Don't touch anything after this. Woo. Okay, so we got some raid chunks. Um, oh, <laughs> this is cool. So I've never tried one of these. I've heard of them. They're the Jackal Brake Blade. So essentially, uh, I don't think Jackal can supply these to the U.S. quite yet because of the patents that uh, Z-Man has. So this breaks patents. So apparently if they sell these at shops in the U.S., um, they could 
potentially get sued, I guess, by Z-Man. I'm sure Z-Man's got lawyers locked and ready for that kind of stuff. But you can buy these overseas. So a lot of people do have, have been buying these from Japan for years. Uh, I've never tried one of these. It's essentially a jackhammer-ish type bait. Um, you know, just your typical um, chatterbait. So anyway, but I like this color. This color looks very perchy to me. I'm, I'm not going to take it out of the package. Uh, I The, the color is always in Jap Japanese on these things. So anyway... It looks like I got a little bit of green, uh, a little bit of white, uh, and it does have a silver blade. So anyway, I'll take another interesting and unique chatterbait, throw it on the NRX. Uh, I'm sorry, I like the X-Pride 7.2 medium heavy glass. Still is my favorite chatterbait rod and the one I'm using lately. Now, this next one is this jerkbait called the Rudra. This is an OSP jerkbait. I've been using these for years because I think in a early, there was an early JDM bento box. I think maybe before he did the subscription, it was just dropping them. And it had a Rudra jerkbait. And I threw it, caught large mouth with it, and I've had them in my arsenal ever since. So I'm just going to have to add this one to my already, I think I already have four of these things in various colors. So the OSP Rudra, and this is, um, I don't know what color this is. Uh, let's see if I can see it. So something, something, Numer Shad, Numer I Shad. Anyway, these are definitely legit jerk baits. They're a little bigger than 110s. They're a little heavier. They cast really good, especially in the wind, because this is like a more chunky jerk bait. You can really get this thing going out into the wind. So that's when I, I was using it. I had a really good day fishing one time up on a windy bank, a windswept bank, and throwing the Rudra into the wind and then pulling it back through into the waves and like where it was really rough water and they went nuts for this thing. So Ruda definitely works. All right, on to the main event, my final, probably my final JDM Bento 110 and Pop Max. And this is a cool one to end it on because it is very unique. I didn't even know this was a color that Mega Bass did and it is called White Tiger. So let's take this, I think it looks the coolest on the Pop Max. So I'm gonna take that out first. Um, so White Tiger is exactly what it sounds like. It's white. And it's got tiger stripes. So here's the JDM Bento Box White Tiger. It's got a really cool emerald eye. It almost looks like uh, it almost looks like reflective, like you know when you see a, a ch uh, like a, a, a raccoon at night or a deer at night, and it shines in their lights and their eyes light up. Kind of what it reminds me of. Anyway, so yeah, it's just pretty much white with tiger stripes. Not too complex, but also pretty unique and interesting. I think a color that you'd go, oh, I've never seen one of those. Um, show it off in the 110 real quick and we'll kind of wrap this up. But anyway, if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. Uh, I'm at Punch Fishing on Instagram. Please give me a follow. That's where I post most of my on the water content. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. So that is the JDM Bento Box White Tiger Vision 110. And this might be my last one that I grab from the Ben private stash so anyway if you've made it this far in the video please hit like and subscribe also keep an eye out for all those new iCast releases and all the new stuff coming out Shimano sounds like they're coming out the gate blazing at iCast this year with all sorts of cool stuff keep an eye out for that new Corrado I think that's going to be really popular uh, the Corrado L and then obviously I'm really excited to see those new conquests as a, as a high-end gear nerd when they say new conquest I'm like okay let's see I, I really want to see hopefully they got new models new styling I'm guessing they're still going to be Torzite guys oh we're going to find out I'll have to make some videos and do some commentary on the uh, iCast releases this year so anyway if you've made this far in the video please hit like and subscribe and uh we'll see you on the next one take it easy